stories now. In other news, the number of metrics studying accounting has dropped dramatically in the last decade. Gauteng Education MEC Panyaza Lisufi tweeted on this earlier, uh, saying that the metric, uh, the, the day rather, the metric results uh, were officially announced. So, what repercussions could this have for the future of accounting in the country? To discuss this, we joined in the studio by Robert Zwane from the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much for coming through. Uh, Robert, the, 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 the tweet by, uh, by Panyaz Ali Sufi sort of caused a lot of, uh, of discussions to say, oh, what's going on if accounting is going down? Because he's asking the question, maybe we should just drop it completely. How would that affect the accounting profession? This is a s speculation. Absolutely. If it was dropped. Well, Absolutely. Uh, good morning, Dan. And uh, I must maybe say, take it backwards first and say we congratulate uh, the matriculants who've done well this year. However, if you look at the tweet by uh, the MEC, there is fact to that. That is true because there has been a drop, but that is not the concern that everybody has been making it to be. That for us is not a, a, an important matter. Why, How, why, why not? I we mean, would like, as an accountant, uh, mm. uh, you should be concerned that uh, young South Africans are not taking the subject. Absolutely. But we look at what is happening currently in the country. If you look at most of the universities that are, are, are teaching accounting, they don't look at accounting from a high school for you to get into an accounting degree. So all the universities will look at a 60% in maths and English and that is why currently that is not being a, looked at as a big concern by the profession. Okay. And I, that I is was not aware that uh, the subject of accounting in high school is not a prerequisite for, by universities for you to study uh, uh, accounting uh, at university. They look at maths, maths and, and English. Absolutely and that is because of the problem solving skills that you develop through maths and English, the critical skills that you're developing and that is why if you look at what is happening currently in the system we would rather have uh, learners that are passing maths well so that they get into universities and get to be uh, doing a, a accounting. However, because there's a lot lot of critical thinking that is required in examining financial uh, challenges as a, as a finance director or a chartered accountant. Absolutely. The problem then with regards to the dropping in, 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 in accounting uh, uh, in the number of learners that are taking accounting is that what kind of content are they being taught? Ah, because ah, the universities ah. are saying it is uh, not of the greatest use because when we get to university we'll have to reteach and that is why currently most of the universities are not looking at accounting. So so is it the view of Saika and, and people like yourselves who are in accounting that the curriculum itself needs to be redesigned. Absolutely, that is our view, that we need to start getting to teach for the 20th century, that we ensure that as we're teaching our learners, we are integrating not only accounting, but we are integrating accounting with our entrepreneurship, with economics, to ensure that as learners get out of, uh, uh, of school, they are relevant for the world of work, they are relevant for the, for the university. So we need to be looking at those kind of issues. So for us, the problem is not the decline in, in the number of learners taking uh, accounting, but it's what else is happening in the background for us the biggest worry is the decline in the number of learners taking maths yes and those, that, and those who, who are passing it, ab ab right? absolutely yeah, absolutely yeah. because if you look at uh, currently almost around 28 percent of the 2019 uh, learners had maths and only half of those or around half of those are passing maths and not just passing maths passing maths with a 60 percent that is what we, we what, will what, be looking what, what for what can professions like yours do to assist in improving the standard of mathematics teaching in our country. So there's quite a lot that we can do. As we congratulate the minister and the department on what they're doing, we also have to actually uh, sort of caution us as a country, caution us as business to say we shouldn't be too relaxed, if I may use the word, at the results that we're seeing. However, we should be going back and looking at how can we start uh, changing the content? How can we start uh, improving uh, teaching and le learning methodologies? Just last night, Dan, I got a call from uh, a student who said I get to, uh, got to study accounting because my teacher was very proactive, my teacher was very good, and it's getting to those kind of issues that we need to be looking at. As SICA, we run quite a number of initiatives that are aimed at developing mathematics, and that are aimed at improving the way maths is taught, that are also aimed at teacher development, and we also partner with a number of our organizations, including the Department of, Organize, uh, of Education, to ensure that we are playing a role in making sure that we are not only just focused on the CA right at the end 
end of uh, the qualification process, but we go back and ensure that an interest in accounting is developed. And then on, on top of that, we ensure that those learners that are being developed also have uh, the potential to get to, uh, to a university. Now, back to accounting as a subject. Now, if the curriculum was redesigned, and the, 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 the department decided, yes, we, we're, we're hearing this, we're going to redesign it to meet the new world, as you said, the new business needs, your entrepreneurship and become real and accounting is now more applicable. Would, would you also urge universities to then require it as a prerequisite into the future, so, not so, just mathematics and, and, and English. Absolutely. So, so uh, early, early last year in 2019, we got a call at SICA from the then Minister of uh, Basic Education, the Deputy Minister of Education, uh, and he said he wants help in uh, digitizing uh, the textbooks for grade 10, 11 and 12. And we looked at that as an opportunity. And he said, we said the only way we would get into that project is if we looked at how we also can influence the content and therefore as, a, as, a, as an organization, we then started calling out universities, and all the universities are actually quite excited because they are saying we can then start making sure that the time that is spent at university is spent focusing on the things that are, are, are the skills that we need by then pushing other things that are skills that they should be developing to a, a school level, and that ensures that when the kid gets out of our school, they've already developed some of the skills they should be getting to. The universities are currently saying some of the biggest issues is that when students are getting to first year, the university have to teach the student how to learn. And therefore, those are the things that we need to be looking yeah, at. Learning skills and, and critical uh, thinking Absolutely, skills. there are 21st I'm going to be talking to uh, a, a, a matriculant who just finished his matric, a young guy, Siabong mm. from Mpumalanga. You'll be pleased to know that he got 100% in science and maths. That's exactly what Those we need. Those are the need. kind That's of exactly people exactly we need. But mm. still, we need to work on the content. So, mm. Panyaz Ali Sufi may have caused a little bit of what, but he's raising an important point. While mm. there's a dec decline in the numbers, mm. we need to look at the content. Absolutely. That's what you're saying. Mm. And also, we need to continue upskilling our mathematics. Absolutely. And then, focus as well, and then focus as well, then on, on, on the issues that are important. One is the declining in the number of us to, uh, learners taking maths. Secondly, is if you look at the pool of students themselves or of learners themselves, if you go back to when they started grade one and compare that number, more than half of those students are getting to be writing metrics. So those are the things that we're looking at. So okay. for us as the accounting profession, we're saying let's go into the content, let's go into the quality aspect of things, the numbers will actually come back themselves. Okay, Mangeti, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Robert Zwane, he's from the South African uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants. Now, let's take a